I don't know if this is an unrealistic fan base or not, but the Chicago Bears are back in the news, Colin, because Caleb Williams is here for his first NFL training Woo. camp. He's been putting in time, obviously, in the offseason. Offensive coordinator Shane Waldron spoke about how impressed he is with Caleb's growth away from the team. Caleb did a great job, you know, and in OTAs and in that portion of the uh, the rookie segment at the end and then showing up back here at training camp uh, a step ahead of where he left. So shows it. he did a great job uh, during his time away from the uh, building, uh, you know, owning the offense, understanding different calls and, and able to come out here and uh, these first two practices and, and operate at a much higher level than what we left it. And we know it's not where where the final product is, but every day we see these incremental improvements leading up to that first game. That's our main goal on offense. Very exciting time. Chicago's turning around. I just saw this morning that two families in Chicago, one of them, the Reinsdorf family, are proposing a $7 billion upgrade to the United Center, putting in um, all sorts of housing, uh, entertainment, you do know I bought Bulls Blackhawk yes, season I, tickets. Yeah. So Caleb Williams is going to change the projection of the and direction of the Bears for the next decade. We think. We we don't know. Well, we're pretty we're pretty good on the no. I would say. Well, it's, I mean, we thought that about Trevor Lawrence in Jacksonville. Well, Here we are. What four years in? What's he done? I mean, that, that franchise was almost shipped off to Dusseldorf well, two what, years I mean, ago. The, the, you might as well ship the Bears to Outer Mongolia at this point. <laughs> what, what have they done recently? What have well, the Bears they've got, done? they've got a Super Bowl and a rich tradition. And what, great. in 1985? Lot it doesn't of... even qualify for your 70s trivia. I mean, that's how long ago <laughs> it was. Like, come on. I, listen, I'm with you. I think the Bears are going to be good. That's <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I think the Bears are going to be good. The pot potential You know there, what they're really going to be for the first time in a long time? Interesting. Well, offensively, fascinating. I couldn't tell you the last time I care. I mean, you go look at their best offenses ever. And Jay Cutler, Alshon okay. Jeffrey. Like, this team is like, oh, this is going to be one of the most interesting watches in the league offensively. Okay, so you think that, and we will hope for that. They just had, we just showed a clip of Shane Waldron speaking. You remember what he was like as an OC in Seattle with, uh, with Russell Wilson? It was not good. Russell Wilson requested Shane Waldron. And then... It didn't really work out. Now, we could say that was Russ and he was near the end, but it was not dynamic or interesting. And um, oh, that's the biggest thing for me. Didn't, Caleb didn't Shane Waldron have one year with Geno Smith? That uh, seemed to turn around his career. He might have. Geno's real turnaround was last year, though, right? No, the or, year before. Was that two years ago? Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty, yeah, pretty interesting. Look at your optimistic Colin. Huh? Yeah. Glass I like how you put on your cape anytime it's Chicago. Got to defend Chicago. Well, I just, I see the truth. New basketball facility, Caleb Williams in town. It's a sunny day in Chicago. Even the winters are going to be mild from this point forward. Mild. <laughs> yeah. Next story is the Miami Dolphins. They still need to lock Tua into a long-term extension. According to Adam Schefter, the Dolphins have made it clear that Tua is their guy. But the two sides are still working out the money in the deal. Boy, these deals take a while, huh? It's been like five months of working out the money. Schefter also noted that Tua is not as close to his new contract as Jordan Love is with the Packers. But I'll tell you this, Colin. If my new deal with Fox or whatever takes as long as his Tua deal, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. <laughs> Tua, the season ended in, in January. It's July. He doesn't have a new deal? What's the, the working out the money over six months? Actions, not words, Colin. You know that. This is not a good sign for Tua. It can't be. Well, I think I think this stuff is really hard. Oh, really? I think quarterbacks, because it's the highest paid player on the team, I think it's hard. I think I think even when you like a quarterback, I mean, good God, they've already redone Mahomes' deal twice. I mean, it's I, all this stuff is incredibly difficult. Oh, yeah. A good front office actually gets something done. Hmm. Imagine well, how that works. Miami... Huh? Off front office is a mixed bag. Some good stuff. <laughs> Some good stuff. Mixed I mean, bag. I mean, I, they did hire Mike McDaniel. They deserve a lot of credit. That was for a big that. W for them. You got to give. I will say this with the Dolphins, and this is where they deserve absolute credit. This was a Brian Flores angry defensive vibe, and they went light, fun, progressive offense. And I mean, they flipped the switch. Tua's a bench warmer. To Tua's a star. Miami, and that's hard. Teams struggle to do this. Miami literally said, and Flores was not a disaster. He turned the franchise around. They were awful when he got there, and very quickly, by about week eight, first year, you're like, wow. And, I mean, special teams and defense were elite. And they're like, no, no, no. 
no, no, we're, we're, we're going to flip this thing. Tua looked like a, a whiff. And they flipped to an offensive franchise virtually overnight. Yeah. And it's been a lot of wins since. We got to give them credit for that. Uh, correction. Regular season. Okay. Wins. Right. We haven't seen the playoff success. It's Tua, all... had a, Tua had a damn good year. I'll say this. Um, and, you know, Mike McDaniel is a little under the radar, right? Because he hasn't had the playoff success. But in terms of interesting, if you're like, Jay, give me three coaches in the NFL. If you could have dinner and three guests, Mike McDaniel's definitely one of the three coaches. I think he's a fascinating guy. Yale-educated, kind of nerdy. How are these big, hulking NFL players listening to squirrely little Mike McDaniel? I, I, I'm, I'm fascinated by this guy. I'm a little jealous that the Jets didn't get him. Um, but I think he's a great, great coach. Yeah, I think I think what Mike McDaniel is, he's good for the Dolphins, and he's really fun for the league. You know, it, it's you forget, but in the 70s and 80s, Miami was a huge brand in this country. And it was, there were Dolphin bars all over cities like Seattle and Denver and Don Shula won for 30 years and Dan Marino. People forget that. Miami was a massive brand. Now it's a heat city. But it, it used to be a hurricane city and a dolphin city <laughs> before Pat Riley got there. And so Miami is, it's also, Miami's also been just a different market. It's the warmest winter market. The aqua water, It's it's got a rich history. I, they're like the Warriors. You forget how good the Warriors were in the 70s, so people forgot about them. And then the minute Whoa. they're good, that they, you can't get a ticket. It's the highest price seat in the league. Miami in the 70s and 80s was one of the top two or three franchises forever. I, I wasn't born, but the, the, the Golden State Warriors were good in the 70s? They were great. Wow, who'd they have? Rick Barry. Oh, Rick Barry. Al I've heard Adels, Clifford Ray. Oh, uh, Jeff Mullins. Keith Wilkes. You, you guys like how I did that, right? I just wedged in more 70s sports. More Cowherd really cooks. I, I mentioned 70s. It, the light just goes off, and you're just on fire. Final story is, ah, yes, the New England Patriots. They got Drake May. We'll get a reboot, talented kid, and they have Jarrett Stidham, who they could use potentially as a very nice trade piece. 66 quarterbacks played in the NFL last year. Pretty nice to have three guys, and you could move two of them. So if Bo Nix hits, the Russell Wilson drama is irrelevant. The dude completed 77% of his passes last year. He's Drew Brees with mobility, potentially. And I'm going to tell you something now, and nobody wants to say this, because fear drives so many decisions in the NFL. The word dead cap. When you hear that, everybody thinks, oh, it's a funeral. It's an NFL funeral. Dead cap money. I would much rather have teams take swings and end up with a little dead cap. Four of the five highest dead cap hits last year made the playoffs. Green Bay took a big swing. They moved off Aaron Rodgers. Buccaneers made a big swing with Brady, won a Super Bowl. And then they took a swing on Baker. If Bo Nix can play, then the Russell Wilson thing, it's going to be last year's news. Nobody's going to care. Take a big swing. It's either going to get you gold bars and trophies or close to it. And if not, it's amazing the opportunities that arise if you hit on a draft pick. You don't even have to have Caleb Williams. Brock Purdy is getting to big games. Bo Nix can absolutely do the same with Sean Payton. Um, so the Athletic did a survey with Dallas Cowboy fans. Dallas Cowboy fans. And the results are in, and, you know, generally, and we get this, fans have blinders on. College pro, doesn't matter, east, west, north, south, middle of the country, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, it's, it, bad teams, you know, see the most optimistic, hopeful outcome. I get it. That's what's great about fans. Um, but Cowboy fans have been beaten down for so long, I would argue they are now currently more realistic than their owners. Listen to this. They were asked if one of these three players could still be on the Cowboys three years from now, who would it be? Dak, Micah, or CeeDee Lamb? Runaway winner was Micah Parsons. Second easily was CeeDee Lamb. Dak third. In my opinion, that should be the order. The second question. Um, what grade would you give the Cowboys for this offseason? 
Almost 40% of Cowboy fans said a D. That would be the right answer. The next question. 